Hi, I'm Dorothy, and today's video is part of a series um, called How to Grow Your Own Food. And we're going to focus on growing tomatoes in pots, whether that be for your deck or the patio or a balcony. Now, this series is evergreen, so it's going to be uh, relevant to you even if you watch it seven years from now. However, I, um, the purpose of me doing it right now is it's March 31st, 2020, and we are all in the middle, or most of us are in the middle of uh, the coronavirus lockdown. Um, so it's, I think it's really relevant, and I wanna share my uh, experiences with you to help in three ways. Number one, boredom. A lot of people get really bored having to stay in their house, not having access to restaurants or, or anything that they're used to doing. Um, and number two is self-sufficiency. I do think that um, there will be some cultural shifts and it's difficult for people to feel like they have no control over anything. And even though it's small, if you can be self-sufficient, even in just growing your own herbs or your own tomatoes or something, that you have control over, um, it helps on the, it helps on self-sufficiency. And number three is fun. Growing your own food is fun, whether that be eating it or planting it or growing it. So that's <laughs> that's what this is all about. Now I have two people here with me. This is my daughter Tesla. And this is my husband, Chris. <laughs> and they are going to um, ask questions. I'm going to take you through six of the key requirements for growing tomatoes in pots. And after I finish each one, um, my, these guys are going to maybe ask a question or two um, that you might be thinking. But first, I'd like to introduce you to Tesla. Tesla, what's your growing situation? Well, I live in a condo, so I don't, and I live on the second floor, so I don't have um, like dirt and a yard to dig around in. So um, I need to grow in pots, and I live in Denver, so we get lots of sun all the mm. time. On the balcony, you have a balcony. Yeah, and it's really sunny. It's yeah, my uh, jalapenos one year fried. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> too much sun can be a problem, but I I think I remember that you. You want about six to eight hours of sun. Would that say what you get? Yeah, probably. Okay. All right. And how about you, Chris? Chris, he he has lots of experience on the farm and in the garden, but I'm not Especially sure. On the tractor. Uh, and on the tractor, <laughs> but I'm not sure how much experience he has with pots. Not much. Not much. Good. Then you'll be able to ask a lot of questions. Yeah, I will. <laughs> All right. So um, let's start with the six. The first, um, number one is the plants. You wanna start with the plants. And if you're a beginner gardener, you probably would do best with a what's called a determinate tomato. Um, there's determinate tomatoes, indeterminate tomatoes, and then we've got a category called heirloom tomatoes. And the determinates are the easiest to grow. And what that means, um, is they will grow to a certain height, usually about mm, two, two and a half feet or so, and then they won't grow any taller than that. So you don't need to stake them. Um, what it also means is you'll get a lot of tomatoes, but it's in a concentrated time. So determinate tomatoes, you may get a flush of tomatoes for three weeks. Indeterminate, <clears throat> the reason they're a little more difficult to grow in a pot is because they vine. They're essentially a vine and they just keep growing and growing and growing. They can grow to eight feet tall. So you do have to have some kind of support system, some kind of trellis and pruning and uh, the stems are not as stocky as with a determinant. That's why they're a little bit harder. Um, and then the heirlooms is a class unto itself. You can get small heirlooms, big heirlooms, indeterminate heirlooms, and there's a few that are determinate, but um, most of the heirlooms do not have any disease resistance. So it's a little bit more difficult to grow them in pots. Okay, so that's number one. Any questions on the tomatoes, <coughs> the type of tomato? No. So is an heirloom a determinate or an indeterminate? It can be either. Most of them are indeterminates, but there are, I think there's a couple, uh, 
<laughs> raspberry liana, I think is a determinant one. Um, but most of the determinants are gonna be what's called a bush tomato or a patio tomato. It'll have that kind of name to it. Okay. I, I would suggest if you're going to have an indeterminate that you put the structure to it in as you plant the plant, not try and put it on later. Yes. We have experience with that. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Put the your trellis or your cage or whatever it is in when the plant is really little and then it will grow into it. If you try to put it onto a, a plant that's this tall, it, you're going to break the stems. Okay. Good job. Now, number two is the pot. Um, this is this is a pot that I got at the nursery and this is a five gallon pot and the only thing I will really say about pots is one tomato per every five gallon pot. If you try to grow two tomatoes in a too small of a space <clears throat> um, they really need a lot of fertilizer, they need a lot of soil, they need a lot of root development. You just won't be happy, you won't get very many tomatoes. So um, the bigger the pot the better but at least a five gallon pot per tomato. Okay? Okay. All right, that's pretty self-explanatory. Next is the soil. The soil is... Does the pot have holes in it? Oh, yes, good. Yes, you need um, drainage holes, and then you also need, especially if you're on a balcony, you need a tray to go underneath it because you don't want to drip down onto somebody else's onto balcony. Yeah. Yes. So make sure you have that. One other thing about the pot, once you get the soil in and the water, they're really heavy. So um, try to uh, try to plant it where it's going to stay, unless you have some really strong people to carry it up to your balcony if you're planting it outside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so plant it in 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 its own space. Um, okay, number three, the soil. Soil is really really important. Uh, this is my it just a potting soil you want to get something that says a potting soil you'll notice that this says um, for uh, container plants potting soil with moisture control miracle grow is a great one um, there's there's other brands out there too but do not get topsoil do not use soil from your garden you you won't get tomatoes you need a potting soil and the potting soil is fine at the beginning when the plants are small you don't need any fertilizer there's micronutrients in the potting soil however when it starts growing more and getting taller you will have to fertilize and that's the next step the only other thing i'll say about the potting soil is um, try to moisten it right now it's pretty crumbly uh, moisten it before you you put your plant in if you can if you can't that's okay too but if you can't, make sure and water it afterwards. I'm not going to dump this in right now because my plants are not ready to plant. But that's the key to the soil. Questions? How high up should you make it? Does it pack down eventually? Um, it, it's, well, that's one reason why you want to moisten it before. Because it won't be so fluffy. This is our dog, Pepsi. <laughs> um, so, uh, but... You do want it to put it up to three quarters of the way at least, um, especially if it's not pre-moistened. Then you want it even higher because once you put the water in, it'll pack down. What was your question? Oh, uh, you, I thought you said you had a question. Oh, I said, no, I said Pepsi has a question. Pepsi has a question. Where's my food? <laughs> All right, so that's the soil. Now, How moist are you supposed to make it? Um, so that you can make it with your fist into a, a clump and it will hold together, okay? Not soaking, that's how, um, uh, and I do have a picture and details of all of this at the blog, farmtojar.com. All right, um, I think I'm on number five. Number five is the fertilizer. Probably the most important thing um, to successful tomatoes. And this is where I failed year after year after year. You need, um, micronutrients and when you grow in a pot like this this will be okay when it's small but tomatoes are really heavy feeders and you're gonna water and the nutrients are gonna leach out 
you're gonna have to fertilize. So once it starts getting bigger, you want a fertilizer once every two weeks. Um, and um, you wanna make sure you also add one other thing besides just the regular tomato fertilizer, and that would be um, Epsom salts um, or something, some kind of, something with calcium. If you don't have that, you're gonna get, and this is really common with potted plants, blossom end rot. And if you, I'm sure you've seen it if you've ever tried to grow in a pot. The tomato gets a really dark, hard, um, flat surface at the bottom. And that's a lack of calcium because it's all being leached out and you need to replenish it. You look like you were gonna ask a question. I was, but I was waiting until you okay, were done. Okay, I'm done. Um, I read on Pinterest that you can add ground up eggshells yeah. to is that mm -hmm. those are good um, eggshells coffee grounds do not make your soil more acid by the way that's a myth but eggshells and uh, bananas banana peels are are good and coffee is good for organic material um, but um, probably eggshells won't be enough you know really some Epsom salts are cheap it's a couple uh, a, a couple of dollars I think at Walmart for a thing of Epsom salts and you just put some a couple of tablespoons into your water and water it in or scratch it into the surface okay okay all right fertilizer important this that's one thing that you really should read the details on um, the blog is called farm to jar.com and all you have to do is go there and and do a search for tomatoes <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we're laughing at the dogs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, for the details, go to the blog or Google for other details. But of course, the blog is great. And and I'm just going to put in another plug here for a new group, and it's called Grow Your Own Food at Home. It's a Facebook group and um, it's a forum where all kinds of um, people, experts, beginners, you name it, um, come on and ask questions and talk about gardening and food. Um, okay, two more things. Uh, water. Water is, um, this is what I'll say about water. Uh, um, you don't want to ever let it get dried out, but you don't want to overwater it either. That's pretty vague, right? the key what i do is if you put your finger in an inch down and it's dry it's time to water so you're going to need more water in of course when it's really hot and you're going to need more water when the plants are young the other one other thing about watering when the plants get older and they're starting to um, develop their tomatoes if you back off the water a little bit, they're gonna develop their sugars and you're gonna get a sweeter tomato. So I water a lot in the young stages and then not so much in the um, more mature stages. Okay, I like sweet tomatoes. <laughs> All right, and the last thing is light. Um, you need at least, you should have six to eight hours of sunlight per day. Um, the, it, you know small tomatoes you might be able to get away with five but you won't have as many tomatoes um, that's really all you need to know about light so a balcony can be really hot and really sunny mm -hmm. and then you'd have to watch the watering pretty heavily so I should water more yeah you just have if, if it dries out it'll probably dry yeah. out more yeah so you would need to water more and it wouldn't hurt to have if you have an umbrella or some kind of shade if you get full sun all day <clears throat> you can uh, so herbs will do really good with full sun all day tomatoes would prefer 70 degrees <laughs> all day every day with six out six to eight hours of sun but nothing's perfect so <clears throat> Any questions there? No, but I think you should, uh, when, you, when you're when you at the nursery buying pieces of equipment, buy some ties, some, oh. some soft ties that you can tie the vines onto the structure as it grows. Otherwise, you'll get vines that'll come out and they'll have fruit on them and they'll bend down and break. Yes. And so you want to tie them back to the structure. Right. They sell them 
all kinds of them. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's, uh, trellising is a, is kind of a entity unto itself that we need to talk about in another one of our, uh, videos and posts, but that, that gets into the trellising part. And again, if you don't want to trellis and you don't want to worry about that, get a, a stocky derm determinate tomato called patio. You won't have big tomatoes, but I guess it's time to go. So don't forget your water <laughs> when you're uh, planting. You need to stay hydrated all summer, okay? <laughs> you, should, you should talk a little bit about the, the planting, the actual planting. Okay. Because you want to you want to protect the hair roots along the stem. And then when you plant, plant those hair roots down in so that you get more rooting going out. Yeah. And so I want to take that up there and show them. Well, this, this isn't <laughs> big <laughs> enough to have hair. That's the problem. It's yeah, only there. March 31st. Here, let me, okay. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> you can see the hair roots right along this one right here. They're little right now, but they'll get a little bit bigger. They're easier to see. And then eventually you'll be able to get the plant down to up about here. But at that point, it'll be five to six inches. Okay. Thank you. And um, when you plop these out, oh, I guess I, uh, the last thing I'll say is these are tomatoes. Um, they're not ready to go in yet. As you can see, I will be potting them up into, um, into four inch pots like this. Um, and then they'll be hardened off. That's a pepper. This is a pepper. Yes. Um, but these, each one of these will go into a four inch pot, be hardened off gradually until they're ready to plant, which will probably be in May for us in zone four slash five. Um, so uh, these will be potted up and then, then we'll plant them all. Okay. All right. <laughs> Talk to you later.